Cannabis Critique. Today, we are talking about another new drop uh, from Fig Farms. I don't know if it's actually a new drop, but I'm picking up a bunch of the uh, Fig Farms stuff that I haven't tried because it's it's very cheap around uh, where I'm at. So let's get into it. The, today, we're talking about Kush Newtons, a strain I picked up specifically just because of the name. I thought the name was great. Kush Newtons. That's absolutely hilarious. Uh, this is a cross of K-Mac and Figment number 5 and tested in at 25.14% THC. And before we get into the breakdown, got to give a massive shout out to our Patreon supporters. A uh, big shout out to the 2A Van Man, Baker Man, Scott the Bartender, and Tim, our dank dudes. And a shout out to Markeisha, our high achiever on the Patreon page. Now let's get into the breakdown of the Kush Newtons uh, from Fig Farms. The look here, it's that signature Arise look. Um, Arise grows the Fig Farms stuff here in Illinois. Uh, very good looking stuff. It has like an exotic look to it. Lots of colors, a good bit of trichome coverage pop, uh, but very, very small. A lot of times that's what I get from Arise. Smaller nugs that look really nice, but, but they're small. Uh, 9.2 out of 10 in the uh, looks category. Smell here was rather unique and very nuanced, I thought. It definitely has that baked goodsy type of scent that you get from a lot of the uh, Girl Scout cookie crosses and a lot of the uh, baked goods uh, cake and cookie strains out there on the market. But it has some other stuff going on as well. Uh, there's like a rubber element happening and there's a little bit of like a, a yeast type of thing uh, going on with this one as well. So I, like I said, a, a layered experience despite like that played out baked goodsy uh, type of aroma. Uh, 8.7 out of 10 in the smell. Breakdown here was good. Like I said, nothing really to say about this one. Smaller nugs, uh, they broke down fine. It was easy to break them down by hand, but nothing really to write home about. Uh, 9 out of 10 there. Uh, the taste here, kind of, kind of unique. I felt like this one tasted kind of like uh, dark chocolate. It's kind of like uh, bittersweet in, in that way that uh, dark chocolate uh, kind of is. That, that's, that's my only descriptor for this one. Uh, very, you know, kind of sweet, but also kind of savory uh, at the same time. It, it's unique. I, I, I don't know if I, if I loved it, but it definitely a unique taste. Uh, 8.1 out of 10. The high here was, uh, again, not not terribly like awesome, not terribly unique or anything, but it, it was nice. Uh, front of face type of buzz. Uh, you get that headband temple effect and a nice bit of relaxation. I'd again describe this one as like a daytime type of indica. It relaxes you, but it doesn't knock you out. So uh, good for uh, daytime use, I think. Uh, high, I gave an 8.3 out of 10. So Overall, I'd describe this one as a rather unique baked goodsy strain. If you're a fan of the baked goodsy stuff, uh, this one will offer a slightly different experience to most of the cookie and cake strains. Has a type of a bittersweet flavor, reminiscent of dark chocolate uh, with a milder buzz. So if that sounds like something you're looking for, I would check out the uh, Kush Newtons from Fig Farms. 8.6 out of 10 overall for this one. And if you enjoyed this cannabis critique, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more.